Let's bring in Executive Director, Economic Right Action Center, Felix Morka, for more on this development. It's few hours to June 12, the first time Nigeria will be celebrated its Democracy Day. Uh, there's a talk about um, the recognition of democracy hero Chief M.K. Abiola and the fact that Nigeria is also celebrating 22 years of unbroken democratic rule. But all of these are now being shadowed by the reported planned protest nationwide. What do you make of these protests? Well, um, the protests have been called, as I understand, uh, to send uh, a very loud and strong message uh, to the governments of this country, you know, um, at all three levels, the federal, the state, and local governments, uh, that things are not going as they should, um, especially on the issue of insecurity and the uh, excruciating poverty uh, that's really hitting our people. Uh, had. Um, I think the, the protests is coming against that backdrop of, you know, just letting the government know that people are suffering and that they deserve better and that the government can do more uh, to address, you know, some of these uh, crises, the insecurity, the economy crisis, uh, the political questions, uh, all of the uh, push by uh, several groups across the country uh, in the Northeast, in the Northwest. Uh, the question of banditry, the issue of the headsmen, just so much going on at the same time. I think that's what the protest has been called to highlight. And there seems to be different opinions, different interests represented by this protest. Just recently, the National Association of Nigerian Students pulled out of the planned protests, um, talking about the possibility of a political hijack. There are some who are talking about the Constitution, the issue of insecurity, as you highlighted earlier. There are others who simply want the president to go. Do you agree that this is another litmus test, seeing what happened during the NSAS protest? And what exactly do you expect the police to do differently? Look, in every democracy, citizens always have a right to express themselves. They have a right to freely express themselves. They have a right to freedom of association, a freedom to gather, a freedom of assembly. You know, so really, I mean, the right to protest is a democratic right, which can't just be uh, extinguished without, um, you know, valid uh, justification. But at the same time, we are currently at a crossroad of you know, a lot of crisis. And very easily, uh, something that may be planned and intended uh, to be peaceful can very quickly spin out of control and taken over by those who don't necessarily share in the objectives of the peaceful protests. So which is why um, NAS, for example, is pulling out. Because that's, again, uh, understandable that anything can happen tomorrow or after tomorrow. Um, despite the good intentions and the you know, legal, uh, if you will, justification for the protest itself. Um, but I think that the police must, again, justify itself and do what it is you know, legally and constitutionally uh, authorized or empowered to do without you know, uh, infringing on the rights of people. Now, to the extent that people are able to gather tomorrow and gather peacefully, the police should observe and respect their right to protest. I think that you know, trying to break it up by force, by the use of force, may unnecessarily escalate uh, tensions and may you know, result uh, in the very outcome that they are seeking to prevent in the first place. So my, my, my real call to the police is to observe the protests uh, if they do go forward tomorrow and help to protect the protesters to the extent that they are you know, comporting themselves and expressing their rights as the constitution permits them to, to do. Um, if that is done, I think that this can happen without you know, uh, incidents. And then for those who really come out to you know, make trouble or to uh, cause the kind of carnage we saw during the NSAS protests, then of course the police will have the powers and the, you know, the right to also uh, bring those um, kinds of individuals to, to justice. Executive Director, Economic Right Action Center, Felix Morka, thank you for talking to us tonight. Thank you.